Thank you, Mr. Chairman. On July 25th, 2023, Chairman Comer and I sent the Department of Justice a letter requesting information related to victims of Hunter Biden, specifically women he sexually exploited and then claimed as deductions on his taxes through his law firm. But he never paid those taxes. Not surprisingly, the Department of Justice did not respond. After the DOJ's sweetheart Hunter Biden deal fell apart, by the way, led by the special counsel, David Weiss, on September 8th, 2023, Chairman Comer and I again sent a letter to the same DOJ officials asking about victims' rights issues related to Hunter Biden's sexual exploitations. DOJ once again failed to respond. Well, yesterday I found out why they don't want to talk with us. In a new email just released, by the way, from October 2020, could you please display the email? The Delaware U.S. Attorney's Office, DOJ, tax, FBI, and IRS described evidence they have related to Mann Act violations. By the way, the subject of the email says Mann Act. First, the title, Mann Act, then it's clear there are charges on the table while the Department of Justice is in hiding from meeting with me. The Department of Justice and IRS email and David Weiss's Delaware U.S. Attorney's Office, the email states there are communications with trafficker number one and trafficker number two, and that Hunter Biden had escorts who traveled across state lines. These women are victims, and the Department of Justice is refusing to protect their rights. Not only that, David Weiss, the now special counsel in charge of supposedly investigating Hunter Biden has been clearly covering up Hunter Biden's crimes since before the 2020 election, which is undoubtedly election interference. David Weiss is complicit and must be removed from the special counsel. We also have more information we subpoenaed. Let me give you an even better example based on an interview with one of Hunter Biden's victims with law enforcement. It says here that the victim, Hunter Biden's victim, stated that Biden told her that his father was the vice president and asked to Google search his name. Hunter Biden's victim stated she told Biden she was not interested in Google searching his name and just wanted to be paid. Hunter Biden's victim stated that Biden then showed her a picture of his father with President Barack Obama. Don't forget his father was vice president then. Hunter Biden's, sex, Hunter Biden's victim stated after she was shown the aforementioned picture who was the vice president of the United States with the president of the United States, Barack Obama, she became afraid. After Hunter Biden's victim left the location, she arrived back at her apartment and told her friend who she was just with, Hunter Biden's victim stated that her friend told her, you have no idea who you're dealing with. These women were terrified, terrified. He used his father, Hunter Biden used his father, the vice president of the United States to threaten his victim who he had just trafficked for sex, and the Department of Justice refuses to speak to me? Hunter Biden needs to be held accountable, accountable for his sexual exploitation of women. And we've shown more evidence. We've shown evidence. This is what it looks like. This is what Man Act violations look Mr. like. Mr. Chairman. Uh, I reclaim my time. I I I'd like to challenge time. the use of this Hunter exhibit Biden under Clause 6 of Rule 17. It is sad that my Democrat Point of order. colleagues Point of order. pretend to care about women's rights while allowing Hunter Biden to exploit women. This is a shame. But let's talk about... Mr. Chairman, let's there's a, a parliamentary further. challenge before us. The point, of order. point of order. Who's the point? And we'll stop the clock for you, Ms. Green. M Mr. Chairman, um, the, our colleague from Georgia has... Uh, introduced before pornographic exhibits and displayed things that are really not suitable for uh, children who might be watching. 
And uh, bathing uh, suits not suitable, Mr. Raskin. Well, but, well, I'm saying I would like the witness to, I would like the member to be instructed to not introduce any pornography today, at least without running it the, through the chair A bathing suit is not pornography. Well, Mr. we can't Raskin. see it from down there, so you didn't make it available to the minority before you started. Seen it before. It's, okay. it's on an, on the internet. It's everywhere. You and you are submitting a naked woman's body. This is a bathing suit. This is a bathing suit. And it has not been clear before this, this committee. Uh, glasses on. Do you wear okay. them or not? It's a I have contacts suit. in. Thank oh, you. Oh, congratulations. All right. All right. All right. Chair, ask Ms. Green to proceed. Now, let's talk about more evidence the Democrats have denied that's turned out to be true. We all know Joe Biden is the big guy. And we confirmed that Hunter Biden was lobbying his father. Here's another example that was just released yesterday. This is from a timeline from one of the IRS whistleblowers in quotes, an email between Vuk Jeremic, a Serbian politician, and Hunter Biden. Did you have a chance to talk with the big man? He's receiving my prime minister on Wednesday. Please let me know if you think that what we discussed back in D.C. can be mentioned in the meeting. My domestic strategy, how I proceed in dealing with my government, very much depends on whether it happens or not. This is a conversation between Hunter Biden and Vuk Jeremich. This is called influence peddling. This is how Hunter Biden was selling his father's political power and influence. And this is a perfect example. This is evidence right here. I'd like to remind everyone that this is the beginning of the impeachment inquiry, where we're casting a wide net and finding every single person, whether it's last administration, the administration before that, and whether it's the current administration that has covered up the crime of, of the Biden Thank family, you. and we will continue Thank pulling more evidence 54 forward. seconds over, Mr. Chairman. And, and I'll let Mr. Goldman go over 30 seconds. So we owe you 20 seconds to Mr. Moskowitz. It's your lucky day. You get five minutes and 20 seconds. Uh, thank you, Mr. Chairman. I think it's your lucky day. What a day we are having here, isn't it? Right? I mean, listen, I, as a former director of emergency management, I know a disaster when I see one. I mean, by the way, you don't, don't, you don't believe me. Just, just ask Steve Bannon. Steve Bannon, your guy, just went on and said, you know, perhaps... Whose guy is Steve Bannon? Yeah, well, you, you know who Steve Bannon is. Uh, perhaps, Steve Bannon just went on and said, perhaps the Republicans shouldn't have started with a witness, he was talking about Professor Turley, who was going to say right off the bat that there wasn't an impeachable offense. He's, he, I quote, he says, perhaps we should have put him on the maybe list for one of our witnesses. Hmm. So your other witness, Ms. O'Connor, gave a complete recitation of the last nine months, eight months of these hearings, she went through some of the greatest hits that have come out, right? Everything that has been presented, you know, both in these committees that we've been having, on TV, all of the evidence that you guys have been presenting over the last eight months, all of that together. And what does Professor Turley say? It says everything we know at this juncture doesn't rise to the level of impeachment. Boy, that is awkward. I mean, I, look, I, it's like political impeachment malpractice. But look, let's, let's go back at some of the previous comments that my colleagues have given. So the chairman, and I have a slide, the chairman goes on Hannity, right? You guys all know Sean, you, you, you appear with him on Fox News all the time, right? And Hannity asks a softball question, right? This is a total softball. Do you believe that this is now officially the Joe Biden bribery allegation? And do you believe you will be able to prove it? The chairman should have just said yes, but nope, he says hope so, because he doesn't have any evidence, couldn't say yes, right? Next slide, please. Then we, have, then we have Senator Grassley. Grassley says what we all know out loud. We aren't interested in whether or not the accusations against Vice President Biden are accurate. Chuck, we know. We know you're not interested in, in the truth. Next slide, please. And then Donald Trump, you know, he's giving it all away. We know he doesn't, he likes to show his cards. He says... I think had they not done it to me, perhaps you wouldn't have it being done to them. And this is going to happen with indictments, too. So, you know, Donald Trump, the tough guy, right? He, what is he saying? He's teaching the lesson we all teach our kids, right? If they do it to you, go do it back. So look, you know, look, we're all appearing now in the world's worst acted TV drama, right? It's been picked up for a second season, the real House Republicans of oversight. You know, perhaps the material is so bad due to the writer's strike. 
Uh, I, I mean, how many Republicans, Freedom Caucus members, part of the Chaos Caucus, have said there's no evidence to impeach Joe Biden? Uh, and again, of course, we know it's not about the evidence. Why? Here is a list of all of the articles of impeachment that have been filed by my colleagues, some that are on this committee. When was the first article filed? It was filed in January of 21, two weeks after January 6th. So before we had a single hearing, before they went through this myriad of fishing, they were filing articles of impeachment. Pro Professor Turley, you said this doesn't rise to the level of impeachment, and you said they shouldn't prejudge. Well, here's a list right here of every single member, many on this committee, prejudging. They're filing articles of impeachment, COVID, Afghanistan, Hunter Biden, and they're all one-upping each other in the Donald Trump Friend Olympics, trying to get invited to the sleepover at Mira Largo. Oh, I filed articles of impeachment against Merrick Garland. No, I filed articles of impeachment against Kamala Harris. Okay, it's, it is ridiculous, but this is what this is about. Let me show you, it's a simple board, right? So all other presidents in the United States, 50% of the impeachments. Donald Trump, the other 50. Donald Trump has half of the impeachments in American history. But you know what? He's got 100% of the indictments. 100% of all indictments. Zero for the other presidents. Listen, I, let me do it another way. I want to channel my inner Tim Russert. So let me go to the board, right? And I don't have Florida, Florida. But Donald Trump, impeachments. Oh, how many impeachments? We got two there. How many indictments? We got four. How many for Biden? Zero, zero. Donald Trump is right. I'm, he's sick of winning. He's just winning, running away with it. And that's why we're here. We're here because of math. That's what this is about. They can't save Donald Trump. They can't take away the two impeachments and the four indictments. But they can try to put some numbers on the board for Joe Biden. But the problem is when you sling mud, you got to have mud. And they just don't have anything, Mr. Chairman. So look, I, 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 we get it. We know why we're here. That's why they say the Biden family, the Bidens, James Biden, Joe Biden's dog commander, but, but not Joe Biden, never Joe Biden. So when are you gonna have the vote on impeachment, Mr. Chairman? What are you scared of? Call the vote, come on. If you all think there's so much evidence, we're here, call the vote on impeachment. Impeach him right now, I dare you.